एक्सरसाइज नंबर 3.3 क्वेश्चन नंबर वन व्हाट दे आर आस्किंग इन द क्वेश्चन फाइंड द ट्रांसपोज ऑफ ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मैट्रिसेस दे गिवन थ्री मैट्रिसेस हियर वी नीड टू फाइंड ट्रांसपोज ऑफ ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सो वी विल कैलकुलेट ट्रांसपोज ऑफ ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फर्स्ट आई विल टेक गिवन मैट्रिक्स सी This is the given matrix. Now I will take this matrix as A. Okay, you take given matrix as A. Now we need to calculate its transpose. While learning the definition of transpose of a matrix, we learn how to write transpose of a matrix. How you take the first row, write it as a first column. Okay, so here in first row only one element is there. You write it as a first column like this five. now you take the second row write it as a second column okay in second row only one element is there second column is 1 by 2 now third row only one element is there you write it as a third column so if this is the matrix a then its transpose is like this you can observe one thing here a is a matrix of what order a is a matrix of order 3 rows 1 column right a is a matrix of order 3 by 1 when we transpose you will get a matrix of order 1 by 3 you see this is 3 by 1 na its transpose is a matrix of what order see one row three columns are there so a transpose is a matrix of order 1 by 3 so similarly we need to calculate transpose for the second bit first what i'll do i'll take given matrix as a okay you take given matrix as a Or else you can take it as a B also. I'll name let B equal to second bit we are doing. We need to calculate transpose of this matrix. Transpose of B is denoted by B dash. How to write transpose of matrix B? Very simple. You take first row from B. You write it as a first column. Okay. So this is the first row. You write it as a first column. One comma minus one. Now you take second row. Write it as a second column. So this two comma three, I'll write it as a second column. What happened? I interchanged rows into columns. Automatically, columns also interchanged into rows. You see here, this is a first column. Na you can observe it as a first row here. These things we already discussed while learning the definition of transpose of a matrix. I'll take given matrix as C. Now we need to calculate its transpose. How to calculate its transpose? Very simple. You take the first row, write it as a first column. Okay, minus one, five, six. Now take the second row, write it as a second column. Root three, five, six. Now you take the third row, write it as a third column. Two, three, minus one. So we written transpose of given matrix. Writing transpose of a matrix is very easy. I hope you understand this solution. Now. We'll move to next question. You observe in the second question what they given? They given matrix A. They given matrix B. What they are asking? Verify that A plus B whole dash equal to A dash plus B dash. We need to verify this. To verify this, what I'll do? First, I'll calculate left hand side part. Next, I'll calculate right hand side part. Okay. First, let's start this solution. They given two matrices A and B. I'll write those two matrices first. A. They given matrix A. Okay. This is matrix A. Right. Now I'll write matrix B. Right. This is matrix B. Okay. First I'll write the matrix A as well as matrix B. Now I need to verify this, na. So my intention is I want to calculate A plus B whole dash left hand side part. I'll calculate first. To calculate a plus b whole dash, first I'll calculate a plus b. Okay, calculate a plus b. Okay, a plus b. Ah oh, yes, a plus b. How you will get a plus b by adding corresponding elements in a and b? So to get the things are easier, I'll write one step clearly here. Minus one plus minus four. I am just adding a and b. A Plus B. Okay. Next two plus one. Okay. Two plus one. Next three plus of minus five. Three plus minus five. I'm just adding 
a and b corresponding elements 5 plus 1 okay next 7 plus 2 right 7 plus 2 next 9 plus 0 yes 9 plus 0 next minus 2 plus 1 okay minus 2 plus 1 next 1 plus 3 okay 1 plus 3 next 1 plus 1 okay 1 plus 1 right now I will simplify this let's see what we will get okay minus 1 minus 4 is what minus 1 minus 4 is a minus 5 okay minus 5 2 plus 1 is 3 3 minus 5 is minus 2 okay 5 plus 1 is 6 7 plus 2 is 9 9 plus 0 is 9 okay minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 1 plus 3 is 4 1 plus 1 is 2 okay so I calculated a plus b okay actually we are verifying this in that process I want to calculate a plus b whole dash to calculate a plus b whole dash I calculated a plus b now I will calculate a plus b whole dash that is a plus b transpose transpose of this how to write transpose of this matrix very simple you take first row write it as a first column okay minus 5 3 minus 2 you take the second row write it as a second column 6 9 9 you take the third row write it as a third column minus 1 4 2 okay so I just calculated a plus b whole dash what I'll do I'll take it as a equation 1 okay I'll take this as equation 1 now I need to calculate right hand side part we are doing we are verifying here first bit I'll write here we are verifying first bit now I need to calculate a dash plus b dash okay I need to calculate a dash plus b dash okay I'll write a dash plus b dash okay a dash here the matrix a given in the question you can see here I written a here a dash what is a dash you write first row as first column minus 1 2 3 you write second row as second column 5 7 9 you write third row as third column minus 2 1 1 okay a dash plus b dash to write b dash we must know what is b so this is matrix b i'll write here until we'll identify what is b okay now i need b dash i need b dash here this is matrix b given in the question what is b dash you write first row as first column minus 4 1 minus 5 you write second row as second column 1 2 0 you write third row as third column 1 3 1 okay now uh, yes you add these two you add these two what you will get uh, minus 1 plus minus 4 you can write directly just to make the things are easier uh, to get answer correctly I am writing all the steps 2 plus 1 add corresponding element 7 plus 2 1 plus 3 3 plus of minus 5 9 plus 0 1 plus 1 okay now you add minus 1 minus 4 that is what that is minus 5 5 plus 1 is 6, minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, 7 plus 2 is 9, 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 minus 5 is minus 2, 9 plus 0 is 9, 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay, what is this? This is A dash plus B dash. Okay, this is A dash plus B dash. I will take this as equation 2. Okay, so equation 1, equation 2. You observe equation 1, no? equation 1, first row is what? Minus 5, 6, minus 1 minus 5 6 minus 1 correct now you observe your second row 3 9 4 here you observe sec equation to 3 9 4 and you see here minus 2 9 2 minus 2 9 2 so what you can write here from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 what you can say 1 left hand side part is what 1 equation 1 equation 1 left hand side part is what a plus b whole dash so a plus b whole dash equal to our right hand side part what is there right hand side part a dash plus b dash is there so we verified that a plus b whole dash equal to a dash plus b dash i hope you are understanding see here in this question total two bits are there i completed this first bit 
I want you to try this very similar bit na a minus b whole dash equal to a dash minus b dash. What to do? First you calculate a minus b. Afterwards you calculate a minus b whole dash and you take it as equation 1. Next you calculate a dash minus b dash. You take it as equation 2. You observe equation 1 and equation 2. From that we can easily identify that a minus b whole dash equal to a dash minus b dash. Okay. Now we will move to third question. You see this third question. Third question also is very similar to that second question only. Here what I will do? I will do this second bit instead of first bit. Okay. So third question, second bit. Right. First I will take a given matrices. They are given a dash. You observe here. In this question they are given a dash. In third question, they given a dash. That is the different. Uh, this is different one. Okay. They given a dash. Actually, what I am checking the second bit now. I need matrix A. I need matrix A. To calculate A minus B, I need matrix A. But they are not given matrix A. You see, this is a dash. This is B. Right. So, we need to calculate A first. How to calculate A? You know properties of transpose of a matrix. What are the properties of transpose of a matrix? In properties of a transpose of matrix, you know that A transpose whole transpose is A. Transpose of A, transpose of A transpose is A, right? So you just transpose this on both sides, okay? I will write here A dash whole dash equal to same matrix 3, 4, minus 1, 2, 0, 1. What I am doing? I am just transposing both sides. You see, I just written dash, dash here. You can observe. Right? You know that a dash whole dash. What is a dash whole dash? a dash whole dash is a. How to write transpose of this matrix? Very simple. You take the first row, write it as a first column. Okay? 3, 4. You take the second row, write it as a second column. Minus 1, 2. You take the third row, write it as a third column. Okay, so now you know matrix A. You know matrix A. Now, as I am verifying the second bit, A minus B whole dash equal to A dash minus B dash. I need A minus B. The matrix B, they are already given. Okay, I need to calculate A minus B. Okay, matrix A is there here. This is matrix A. Matrix A minus minus matrix b in the question they given matrix b okay matrix b i'll write matrix a minus matrix b okay now uh, yes subtract what you will get if you want clarity you can write like this 3 minus minus 1 subtract the corresponding elements okay minus 1 minus 2 0 minus 1 4 minus 1 corresponding elements you subtract 2 minus 2 1 minus 3. You have to do very carefully. Don't try to do faster. Do it slowly, neatly. You will get the answer. Okay. Minus of minus is plus. Right. 3 plus 1 is what? 4. Minus 1 minus 1 is what? Minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. 2 minus 2 is 0. 1 minus 3 is minus 2. What is this? This is A minus B. What you are trying to calculate? You, you are trying to verify this. So, in this first you need a minus b whole dash. You want to calculate a minus b whole dash. In that, you just calculated a minus b. Now, you got a minus b. You transpose this matrix a minus b transpose. How to transpose this matrix? Here first row is there. Na? First row, you write it as a first column. This first row, you write it as a first column. 4 minus 3 minus 1 your second row is there now write it as a second column then you will get transpose of above matrix right so i just calculated transpose of this matrix i got like this i'll take it as equation 1 because i am trying to verify this a minus b a minus b whole dash equal to a dash minus b dash in that process i just calculated a minus b whole dash now i'll calculate a dash minus b dash a dash minus b dash okay now I need to calculate a dash minus b dash. a dash already given in the question. See this is a dash. This is a dash. a dash already given in the question. I will write a dash. a dash minus b dash. Where is the matrix b? This is the matrix b. Okay. This is the matrix b. What I want actually? I want b dash. 
how to write b dash here first row is there na? write it as a first column uh, what is first row in matrix b minus 1 to 1 minus 1 to 1 i written first row as a first column your second row is then write it as a second column one two three okay good now uh, one minute we will delete this now i need to subtract these two things yes subtract corresponding elements three minus of minus one four minus one minus one minus two two minus two zero minus one one minus three okay now uh, yes here you will subtract what you will get minus of minus plus na? 3 plus 1 is what 4 4 minus 1 is what 4 minus 1 is 3 minus 1 minus 2 is what minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3 2 minus 2 is 0 0 minus 1 is minus 1 1 minus 3 is minus 2 what is this this is a dash minus b dash I will take it as equation 2 you observe equation 1 this is equation 1 na? you see this 4 3 you observe here 4 3 yes is here minus 3 0 look here minus 3 0 very good next minus 1 minus 2 look here minus 1 minus 2 so what i can say here i can say that a minus b whole dash left hand side part left hand side part i'll write here from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 i'll write this here from 1 and 2 therefore from 1 and 2 what i can say I can say that a minus b whole dash equal to a dash minus b dash a minus b whole dash equal to a dash minus b dash hence we verified this second bit similarly you can do this first bit as they given a dash first you calculate a after that you calculate a plus b and then you calculate a plus b whole dash you take it as equation one Next, you calculate a dash plus b dash. You take it as equation 2. From 1 and 2, we can easily verify that a plus b whole dash equal to a dash plus b dash. Okay. Now, we'll move to question number 4. You observe this question number 4. They given a dash. Here also a dash given. They're not given a. Okay. Here, they given matrix b. Now, they are asking us to calculate a plus b, a plus 2b whole dash. Okay. First, they given a dash. What is a dash? They given a dash as minus 2, 3, 1, 2. This is given. What I will do? I need a. To calculate this, I need a. To get a, I will transpose this on both sides. Okay. a dash whole dash equal to minus 2, 3, 1, 2. Transpose. Yes. a dash whole dash is what? We learn from properties of a transpose of a matrix a dash whole dash equal to a and transpose of this matrix how to write transpose of this matrix very simple you write first row as first column minus 2 3 this is first row now you write it as a first column now here second row is then write it as a second column okay so now we got the matrix a what you want you want to calculate a plus 2b whole dash right 2b a we have now we calculated a 2b right here this is the matrix b one minute this is the matrix b i'll write here this is the matrix b i want to calculate 2b from this how to calculate 2b 2b is nothing but every element of matrix b you multiply with 2 you multiply with 2 then you will get 2b yes every element of matrix b you multiply with 2 2 into minus 1 that is minus 2 2 into 0 that is 0 2 into 1 2 okay 2 into 2 2 into 2 is 4 so now you got 2b also now you see here a plus 2b okay you need to calculate a plus 2b before calculating a plus 2b whole dash what is a you see here this is matrix a na? matrix a is minus 2 1 3 2 okay plus 2b 2b you look here 2b is here what is 2b minus 2 0 2 4 okay now you just add these two what you will get minus 2 plus of minus 2 that is what minus 2 minus 2 that is minus 4 1 plus 0 1 plus 0 is what 1 next 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 is what 5 next 2 plus 4 2 plus 4 is what 2 plus 4 is 6 what is this this is a plus 2b 
Now you calculate a b a plus 2 b whole transpose. Transpose of this matrix. How to calculate? You write first row as first column minus 4 1. You write second row as second column 5 6. So we calculated a plus 2 b whole transpose. What is the answer? Answer is minus 4 5 1 6. I hope you understand this. Now you see this question number 5. What they are asking in question number 5? For the matrices A and B, verify that A plus B whole transpose equal to B transpose into A transpose. Okay. Here the matrices A and B are given. Okay. Now what I will do? I will calculate. Uh, I need to verify this. A B whole dash equal to B dash into A dash. To calic First I will calculate this left hand side part. A B whole dash. To calculate that, I need to calculate AB first. After calculating AB, I can transpose it easily. So I will calculate AB. In matrix multiplication, you learn how to multiply the matrices. 1, minus 4, 3. Okay, this is matrix A. Matrix B. What is matrix B? Minus 1, 2, 1. See, by this time, I hope you are all good in matrix multiplication. Otherwise, you please check the videos of matrix multiplication in second exercise. How to multiply the matrices? Uh, here first thing matrix multi multiplication is confirmable or not. See here A is a matrix of what order? A is a matrix of order 3 rows 1 column. This is a matrix of order 3 by 1. And B is a matrix of what order? 1 row 3 columns are there. This is 1 by 3 matrix. Matrix multiplication is confirmable or not? Number of columns in A equal to number of rows in B. So matrix multiplication is confirmable. After multiplying these two matrices, what you will get? After multiplying these two matrices, you will get AB as 3 by 3 matrix. Keep that in your mind. After multiplying these two matrices, you will get a matrix of order 3 by 3. Keep that in your mind. Okay. Now, how to multiply first row, first column? In first row, only one element is there. In first column also, only one element is there. First row, first column elements, you multiply 1 into minus 1. That is minus 1. That's it. Over. First row, first column is completed. Now what? First row, second column. First row, second column, 1 into 2. 1 into 2 is 2. Now, first row, third column, 1 into 1. I hope you are understanding. Matrix multiplication knowledge is needed here. For, with first row, with first row, first column is over, second column is over, third column is over. Right? Now, you take the second row, first column. Multiply these two things. What you will get? 4. Okay. Now, second row, second column. Multiply these two. Minus 4 into 2 is what? Minus 8. Now, minus 4 into 1. That is minus 4. Okay. Now, third row, first column. Third row, first column. 3 into minus 1. That is minus 3. Third row, second column. 3 into 2 is 6. Third row, third column. 3 into 1 is 3. So, I calculated AB. Now, we have AB. AB is this matrix. What I want to verify? I want to verify that AB whole dash equal to B dash into A dash. Right? So, I need AB whole dash. I just calculated AB. Now, I need AB whole dash. AB whole dash means transpose of this matrix. Yes, transpose. How to write transpose of this matrix? You write first row as first column. Minus 1. 2, 1. You write second row as second column. 4, minus 8, minus 4. You write third row as third column. Minus 3, 6, 3. Okay. So, I calculated AB whole transpose. Now, I need to calculate. I'll take this AB whole transpose as equation 1. This is 1. Okay. Now, I need to calculate B dash into A dash. Okay. B dash. I need to calculate b dash into a dash what is a so th this b b dash na? b dash you write transpose here uh, one row is there write it as a column b dash b dash is what first row you write it as a first column minus 1 2 1 minus 1 2 1 okay b dash we calculated now a dash a dash a dash you see first row you write it as a first column okay uh, what you will get here this as the first column means one second row you observe I'm writing a dash second row you write it as a second column minus four okay now third row this is third write it as a third column okay third column right 
Now multiply B dash into A dash. How to multiply these two matrices? See, first of all, this is a matrix of order 3 rows, 1 column. This is a matrix of order 1 row, 3 columns. So matrix multiplication is possible because number of columns in first matrix equal to number of rows in second matrix. After multiplying these two matrices, you will get a matrix of order 3 by 3. Yes, multiply first row, first column, first row, first column. Minus 1 into 1 is minus 1. Now first row, second column. Minus 1 into minus 4 is 4. Now first row, third column. Minus 1 into 3 is what? Minus 3. Now second row, first column. 2 into 1 is 2. Now second row, second column. 2 into minus 4 is minus 8. Now second row, third column. 2 into 3 is 6. Now third row, first column, 1. Now third row, second column, minus 4. Third row, third column is 3. I hope you are understanding. Now I calculated B dash, A dash also. Please, uh, I'll uh, take this as a equation. I'll take this as equation 2. Uh, you observe equation, you observe equation 1. In equation 1, minus 1, 4, minus 3 is there. Minus 1, 4, minus 3 is there here, right? Equation 1 as well as equation 2. 2 minus 8, 6, 2 minus 8, 6. 1 minus 4, 3, 1 minus 4, 3. So from 1 and 2, what I can say? Therefore, therefore from 1 and 2. What we can say? We can say that AB whole dash equal to B dash into A dash. I think in this question, two bits are there. We need to verify this theorem for these two bits. Whatever I did here, that is for first bit. In the same procedure, I want you to try this problem your own. Okay. You observe this question number six. They are given matrix A and they are asking us to verify A transpose into A equal to I. Okay. We will do the first bit in this. First, I uh, will write the given matrix A. This is matrix A. Right. This is the given matrix A. What I need to verify? I need to verify that A transpose into A equal to I. I'll write here directly A transpose into A. First, I'll write A transpose. How to write A transpose here? This is first row. Na? You write it as a first column. You write it as a first column. Cos alpha, sin alpha. Okay. This is second row. Na? Write it as a second column minus sin alpha cos alpha okay now what is this this is a transpose into matrix a matrix a this is matrix a right cos alpha sin alpha minus sin alpha cos alpha okay now i need to multiply these two matrices how to multiply first first row first column corresponding elements you multiply and then add them okay so corresponding elements you multiply cos alpha into cos alpha that is cos square alpha plus ah, multiply these two elements plus minus sin alpha into minus sin alpha is minus minus will become plus sin square alpha see matrix multiplication if you know then only you do this exercise if you do not know matrix multiplication i strongly recommend you to practice matrix multiplication first and then only come to this exercise first row first column is over what next first row second column yes first row second column multiply cos alpha into sin alpha plus minus sin alpha into cos alpha okay first row first column is over first row second column is over what next second row first column yes second row first column multiply what you will get sin alpha into cos alpha plus cos alpha into minus sin alpha is minus sin alpha cos alpha okay uh, now second row second column multiply sin alpha into sin alpha that is sin square alpha sin square alpha plus cos alpha into cos alpha is cos square alpha okay good now cos square alpha plus sin square alpha cos square alpha plus sin square alpha is what cos square alpha plus sin square alpha is 1 you can observe here this is plus cos alpha sin alpha minus sin alpha cos alpha will get cancelled same thing minus sin alpha cos alpha plus sin alpha cos alpha will get cancelled so you will get 0 0 and sin square alpha plus cos square alpha value is 1 okay so what is this this is i you can observe here i just started calculating a transpose into a i got it as i a dash into a equal to i Similarly, I request you to practice this problem. Practice makes you 
perfect in mathematics right so i can do this but i want you to try this your own okay now we'll move to next question you see what is this question show that the matrix a this is the matrix a is a symmetric matrix we need to show that this matrix is a symmetric matrix see here when we say a is symmetric when a transpose equal to a then we say that a is symmetric when we say b is symmetric when b transpose equal to b then we say that b is symmetric when we say c is symmetric c transpose equal to c then c is symmetric here they are asking us to show this matrix you can see here they named it as matrix a we need to show that this matrix a is symmetric when i can say a is symmetric first thing i'll write the given matrix this is matrix a okay i'll write the given matrix i'll take this as equation 1 this is 1 now i'll calculate its transpose i'll calculate its transpose how to calculate its transpose very simple first row you write it as a first column 1 minus 1 5 second row you write it as a second column minus 1 2 1 third row you write it as a third column 5 1 3 okay now you observe this is a this is a transpose we written the transpose now you can check this i'll take it as 2 you can check that these two are equal matrices. See, 1 minus 1, 5, right? Minus 1, 2, 1, yes. 5, 1, 3. What you observe from 1 and 2, I'll write here. Therefore, from 1 and 2. From 1 and 2, what you can say? A transpose is same as A. When A transpose equal to A, then what we say? We say that, therefore, A is a symmetric matrix. A is symmetric matrix i hope you are understanding right a is symmetric matrix now uh, in this only second bit you observe uh, just now what i completed i completed first bit now you see the second bit what is second bit we need to show that this matrix is skew symmetric matrix skew symmetric matrix when we say a is skew symmetric when a transpose equal to minus a when we say b is skew symmetric b transpose equal to minus b as you need to show that it is a skew symmetric matrix what i'll do first i'll take this as a given matrix okay this is the second bit this is the second bit okay from this a i'll calculate minus a minus a is nothing but minus 1 into a minus 1 into a is nothing but minus a so minus a means each element of a you multiply with minus 1 multiply with minus 1 what you will get minus 1 into 0 that is 0 minus 1 into 1 that is minus 1 plus 1 1 0 minus 1 minus 1 1 0 right this is minus a now i'll take this as a equation 1 i'll calculate a transpose how to calculate a transpose very simple here a transpose na first row is then you write it as a first column 0 1 minus 1 this is second row na write it as a second column minus 1 0 1 this third row na write it as a third column 1 minus 1 0 you observe here minus a 0 minus 1 1 look here 1 0 minus 1 1 0 minus 1 minus 1 1 0 right what you observe here a transpose minus a both are same therefore what you will write here from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 can uh, yes from 1 and 2 what i can say i can say that a transpose equal to minus a these two are same matrices a transpose equal to minus a when a transpose equal to minus a then what you can say therefore a is a skew symmetric matrix skew symmetric a is a skew symmetric matrix i hope you are understanding now uh, seventh question both the bits completed we will move to eighth question you see this is the eighth question for the matrix a this is matrix a verify that a plus a dash is a symmetric matrix we need to verify that a plus a dash is a symmetric matrix okay here before starting this problem you need to know that when we say a is symmetric when a transpose uh, i'll write here when a transpose equal to a then we say that a is symmetric when we say b is symmetric when b transpose equal to b then b is called symmetric matrix 
when c when we say c is symmetric when c transpose equal to c when we say a plus a dash is symmetric when we say a plus a dash is symmetric very simple a plus a dash whole dash equal to a plus a dash you see here this is a transpose symbol dash right when we say a is symmetric means a dash equal to a b is symmetric means b dash equal to b when we say a plus a dash is symmetric a plus a dash whole dash equal to a plus a dash then we say that a plus a dash is symmetric matrix i hope you are understanding what i am trying to say so what i'll do now my main intention is i want to prove that a plus a dash whole dash equal to a plus a dash when i can say this holds good then I can say that a plus a dash is symmetric. This is what they are asking. Okay, right. So what I'll do first, uh, I'll take the given matrix. This is the given matrix, right? Take the given matrix, given matrix A. Okay, I need to calculate uh, this LHS, a plus a dash whole dash. For that, first I'll calculate a plus a dash. To calculate a plus a dash, we need a dash. As the matrix A is there, from A we can write A dash. First row, you write it as a first column. Okay. Second row, write it as a second column. Right. So you got A dash. Now I'll calculate A plus A dash. A plus A dash. You add the corresponding elements. Yes. 1 plus 1, 2. Okay. Next 5 plus 6, 11. Next 6 plus 5, 11. Next. 7 plus 7 that is 14 okay this is a plus a dash now i want to check this one so i'll calculate a plus a dash whole dash okay a plus a dash whole dash okay now how to calculate a plus a dash whole dash means transpose of this matrix transpose of this matrix how to write transpose of this matrix very simple you take the first row write it as a first column 211 okay now second row write it as a second column right now you got a plus a dash whole dash see i'll what i'll do here i'll take this as equation one take this as equation two you observe here these two matrices are what these two matrices are same you see 211 211 11 14 11 14 so what you got here it can be understood easily therefore a plus a dash whole dash equal to a plus a dash therefore what we can say we can say that a plus a dash is a symmetric matrix i hope you are understanding a plus a dash is a symmetric matrix okay so we proved that a plus a dash is a symmetric matrix now we need to prove that a minus a dash is a skew symmetric matrix First bit is our second bit. A minus A dash is skew symmetric matrix. Okay. Uh, second bit. If when we say A is skew symmetric, when A dash equal to minus A, when A dash equal to minus A, then we say that A is skew symmetric. When we say B is skew symmetric, B dash equal to minus B, then we say that B is skew symmetric. When we say A minus A dash is skew symmetric, A minus A dash whole dash equal to minus of a minus a dash then we say that a minus a dash is skew symmetric so here what i need i need this uh, uh one minute a a dash is needed okay a a dash a dash you know how to calculate a dash copy this right from a we can calculate a dash okay uh, I need to calculate a minus a dash. Okay, I'll calculate a minus a dash now. A minus a dash. Matrix A is there. Matrix A dash is there. Subtract the corresponding elements. 1 minus 1, 0. 5 minus 6, minus 1. Okay, uh, 6 minus 5, 1. Okay, 7 minus 7, 0. Okay, this is a minus a dash. Now, I'll calculate minus of a minus a dash also minus of a minus a dash a minus of a minus a dash means for this matrix you multiply with minus one okay every element of this matrix you multiply with minus one what you will get minus one into zero zero minus one into minus one one minus one zero i just writing negative of this for this matrix minus one into this right it can be understood right 
Now what I'll do for this matrix, I'll calculate its transpose. A minus A dash, I'll do one thing, I'll take it as 1. Uh, and now what I'll do, A minus A dash whole dash. Here A minus A dash matrix is then write its transpose. How to write its transpose? In A minus A dash, first row is then write it as a first column. Now second row is then write it as a second column. You will learn in theory how to calculate transpose all these things, right? This is 2. Now you observe 1 and 2. Please observe 1 and 2. This is 0, 1, 0, 1. Minus 1, 0, minus 1, 0. So what happened from 1 and 2? What you can say? We can say that these two are equal. I'll write that from 1 and 2. Therefore, from 1 and 2. What you can say from 1 and 2? A minus A dash whole dash equal to equal to minus of a minus a dash therefore a minus a dash is a skew symmetric matrix i hope you understand right a minus a dash is skew symmetric matrix they are asking us to prove a minus a dash is skew symmetric we calculated that a minus a dash is skew symmetric now we'll move to next problem See this ninth problem, what they are asking in this problem, find half into a plus a dash and half into a minus a dash. The matrix A given, it's a very simple problem actually. Okay, first I'll take the given matrix. This is the matrix A, right, matrix A. Now I'll calculate its transpose. How to calculate A transpose? You write first row as first column 0, A, B. Now this is second row, write it as a second column, minus A, 0, C. Now this is third row, write it as a third column, minus B, minus C, 0. Now A transpose we calculated. You want to calculate half into A plus A dash. Now for that, I will calculate A plus A dash. How to calculate A plus A dash? You add these two matrices, that's it, right? Add the corresponding elements, 0 plus 0. 0 plus 0 is what? 0. Next, A plus of minus A a plus of minus a is 0 right 0 now b plus of minus b 0 okay now uh, corresponding elements minus a plus a 0 0 plus 0 0 c plus of minus c 0 what happened you are getting 0 matrix huh? yes okay okay here a plus a dash is there na? you need to calculate half into a plus a dash na? okay half into a plus a dash how to calculate half into a plus a dash for this matrix? Every element of this matrix multiply with 1 by 2. 1 by 2 into 0, 0. 1 by 2 into 0, 1 by 2 into 0, 1 by 2 into 0. So half into a plus a dash is 0 matrix of order 3. Now we calculated this half into a plus a dash. Now we need to calculate half into a minus a dash. For that, uh, I'll calculate a and a dash. Uh, okay from this i calculated a dash now what i need i need half into a minus a dash for that first i'll calculate a minus a dash subtract the corresponding elements 0 minus 0 0 okay a minus of minus a you can observe this minus minus will become plus a plus a is 2a this is 2a okay next uh, b plus minus na? b b minus of minus b that is b plus b that is 2b okay minus a minus a we are subtracting minus a minus a minus a is minus 2a okay 0 minus 0 is 0 c this is 2c okay minus 2b minus 2c minus c minus c right 0 minus 0 is 0 i hope you are understanding this is a, a a minus a dash we got okay right now actually what to calculate we want to calculate half into a minus a dash every element of this mat every element of this matrix you multiply with 1 by 2 every element of this matrix you multiply with 1 by 2 yes multiply what you will get 1 by 2 into 0 that is 0 1 by 2 into 2a 1 by 2 into 2a is what is a next 1 by 2 into 2b b this is minus a 0 c minus b c 0 it can be understood easily so i calculated half into a minus a dash half into a plus a dash in this question they are asking us to calculate half into a plus a dash 
half into a minus a dash both calculated i hope you are understanding observe this 10th question what they are asking express the following matrices as sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix half into a plus a dash plus half into a minus a dash we learn this theorem while learning the theory part related to third exercise we know this theorem what is this theorem if a is a square matrix every square matrix can be expressed as sum of this is symmetric and skew symmetric matrix this theorem we learn okay in this question what they are asking express the following matrices as sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrices what i'll do here suppose first bit whatever the matrix they given you can observe all are square matrices only whatever the matrix they given i'll take it as matrix a okay next what this problem i'll do in three steps step number 1 i'll calculate half into a plus a dash i'll calculate half into a plus a dash first next i'll calculate half into a minus a dash third step i'll add these two matrices after adding these two matrices again i'll get the given matrix here what points you need to know half into a plus a dash is what half into a plus a dash is a symmetric matrix that we done in the theorem what is half into a minus a dash half into a minus a dash is a skew symmetric matrix they are ask, they are asking us to express given matrix as sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix okay so what is the first step i'll calculate half into a plus a dash what is the second step i'll calculate half into a minus a dash what is the third step i'll add these two okay right step 1 uh, first you take the given matrix as a right let what happened let a equal to yes given matrix what is the given matrix 3 5 1 minus 1 okay this is the given matrix now you what you want to calculate half into a plus a dash okay for that i need a dash calculate a dash how to calculate a dash you write first row as first column okay you write second row as second column 1 minus 1 okay a dash calculated now i just want to calculate half into a plus a dash now for that uh, i need a plus a dash a plus a dash yes add corresponding elements 3 plus 3 6 okay 5 plus 1 6 Okay, 1 plus 5, 6. Okay, minus 1, minus 1 plus of minus 1. That is minus 2. Okay, this is a a plus a dash. What I want to calculate? I want to calculate half into a plus a dash. Okay, half into a plus a dash. How to calculate this half into a plus a dash? every element of this matrix you multiply with 1 by 2 yes 1 by 2 into 6 is what 1 by 2 into 6 is 3 okay 1 by 2 into 6 again 3 every element of this matrix you multiply with 1 by 2 3 minus 1 this is half into a plus a dash i i done the first step first step is over this i'll take it as 1 okay next what is the second step i want to calculate half into a minus a dash okay a minus a dash i'll calculate a minus a dash the matrix a matrix a dash already there here na you see you just calculate a minus a dash a minus a dash you subtract the corresponding elements 3 minus 3 is 0 okay 5 minus 1 4 okay 1 minus 5 that is minus 4 next minus 1 Minus one, minus of minus one. That is minus one plus one. That is zero. Okay, right. Now I need half into a minus a dash. Half into a minus a dash. Every element of this matrix you multiply with one by two. One by two into zero is zero. One by two into four is two. One by two into minus four is minus two. One by two into zero is zero. So this is half into a minus a dash. See, uh, what I did, I calculated half into a plus a dash. Second, I calculated half into a minus a dash. So now, what I'll do, I'll add these two in. I'll add these two matrices. Okay. Yes, half into a plus a dash plus half into 
a minus a dash what point you need to know what is this is a symmetric matrix what is this this is a skew symmetric matrix a better you write here half into a plus a dash is a symmetric matrix you write here is a symmetric matrix half into a minus a dash is what is a skew symmetric matrix okay now i'll add these two matrices half into a plus a dash what you got here this is what you got right okay plus plus half into a minus a dash right now just add these two matrices just add what you will get 3 plus 0 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 3 plus of minus 2 that is 1 minus 1 plus 0 that is minus 1 okay <coughs> what is this 3 5 1 minus 1 see here see here 3 5 1 minus 1 is a 3 5 1 minus 1 is what this is a this is a what happened what happened here you proved that a equal to sum of symmetric plus q symmetric therefore therefore a equal to half into a plus a dash plus half into a minus a dash therefore given matrix given matrix is expressed given matrix is expressed as sum of sum of symmetric sum of symmetric and skew symmetric sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrices so given matrix is expressed as sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix See, in all the bits, this is important question. In all the bits, they are asking us to verify. Na? So, uh, in this question, suppose if I take the second bit, uh, how to express it as a sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix? First, you calculate half into A plus A dash. Next, you calculate half into A minus A dash. You know that it is a symmetric matrix. It is a skew symmetric matrix, right? So, I will do this second bit. I want you to try this third and fourth bit. The second bit also procedure is same. Okay, second bit, right. Uh, first, uh, you take a given matrix as A. Okay, let, let, this is the given matrix now, this matrix as A. Okay, let this matrix as A. Now, what you want to calculate, very simple thing here, you want to calculate half into A plus A dash first. Next, you want to calculate half into A minus A dash. Next, you want to add both. So, for this, we need A dash. Calculate A dash. How to calculate A dash? Here, first row is there. Now, write it as a first column. 6 minus 2, 2. Now, second row is there. Now, write it as a second column. Minus 2, 3, minus 1. Third row, write it as a third column. 2, minus 1, 3. Okay. Now, uh, you want to calculate half into A plus A dash. Na? So, you just calculate A plus A dash first what we are calculating we are calculating a plus a dash na? that means add the corresponding elements a plus a dash add the corresponding elements 6 plus 6 6 plus 6 is 12 okay now minus 2 plus minus 2 that is minus 4 okay 2 plus 2 that is 4 okay next minus 2 plus of minus 2 that is minus 4 3 plus 3 3 plus 3 6 okay minus 1 plus of minus 1 that is minus 2 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 is 4 okay minus 1 plus of minus 1 that is uh, minus 2 right minus 1 plus of minus 1 minus 2 3 plus 3 is 6 okay now <coughs> a plus a dash is over uh, my main intention is i want to calculate half into a plus a dash first so a plus a dash is over now you multiply each element of this matrix with 1 by 2 half into a plus a dash multiply each element of this matrix with 1 by 2 1 by 2 into 12 6 1 by 2 into minus 4 minus 2 1 by 2 into 4 2 1 by 2 into minus 4 minus 2 1 by 2 into 6 that is 3 minus 1 okay 1 by 2 into 4 2 minus 1 3 right uh, yes half into a plus a dash we calculated right now uh, I'll calculate I'll take it as 1 I'll take this as 1 I'll calculate half into a minus a dash 
okay so for that we need this a a dash you want to calculate what you want to calculate half into a minus a dash for that first i'll calculate a minus a dash just calculate a minus a dash matrix a 6 uh, just subtract corresponding elements a minus a dash 6 minus 6 0 minus 2 minus of minus 2 that is minus 2 plus 2 that is 0 okay 2 minus 2 0 a 0 0 subtract a minus a dash you calculate you will get like this now half into a minus a dash half into a minus a dash multiply each element of this matrix with 1 by 2 what you will get 1 by 2 into 0 0 1 by 2 into 0 1 by 2 into 0 you will get 0 matrix right what is this you take this as equation 2 what you want to do now uh, you want to calculate equation 1 plus equation 2 half into a plus a dash plus half into a minus a dash okay calculate half into a plus a dash look here this is the matrix now this is the matrix right half into a plus a dash i'll write half into a plus a dash this is right plus a minus a dash is zero matrix you got right zero 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 yes add these two matrices add the corresponding elements what you will get 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 0 is 6 right minus 2 plus 0 minus 2 2 minus 2 3 minus 1 2 minus 1 3 right what is this see this and given matrix both are same you see this is the matrix a na? this is the matrix a here what you got and what is matrix a both are same you see this is the given matrix six check here six minus two two yes minus two three minus one yes two minus one three so what is this this is nothing but matrix a so what you proved you proved that half into half into a plus a dash plus half into a minus a dash equal to a therefore therefore half into a plus a dash plus half into a minus a dash equal to a we know that this is symmetric matrix this is skew symmetric matrix therefore given matrix given matrix is expressed as expressed as sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix sum of symmetric and skew symmetric matrices right so we done two bits in this question number 10 okay first question second question completed i want you to try this third question and fourth question in the same procedure i hope you understand this right now we'll move to next question <clears throat> what this choose the correct answer in uh, question number 11 and 12 okay this is the 11th question you observe in this 11th question what they given a and b are symmetric matrices of same order a is what a is a symmetric matrix b is a symmetric matrix of same order okay they given a is symmetric now so you can write a transpose equal to a b transpose equal to b because they are saying that a is a symmetric matrix b is symmetric matrix a transpose equal to a b transpose equal to b what they are asking here then a b minus b a is what is a symmetric matrix q symmetric matrix something options are like that what i'll do i'll calculate a b minus b a whole transpose i'll calculate a b minus b a whole transpose you know this property after the definition of transpose of a matrix we learn properties of transpose of a matrix a minus b whole dash is a dash minus b dash a minus b whole dash is a dash minus b dash so here what i can write it as you can write it as a b whole dash minus b a whole dash this is a minus b dash a minus b whole dash formula is what a dash minus b dash i applied that formula i got like this now you see a b whole dash you know this property a b whole dash equal to b dash into a dash a b whole dash equal to b dash into a dash so here this can be written as b dash into a dash now look here b a whole dash what is ba whole dash ba whole dash is a dash into b dash and you know that here in the question they given b dash equal to b a dash equal to a so in place of b dash 
we can write b in place of b dash we can write b because b is a symmetric matrix b is a symmetric matrix means b dash equal to b a dash can be written as a minus a dash can be written as a b dash can be written as b here you can see you can take minus common take minus common uh, this can be written as this can be written as minus of a b minus b a what happened here a b minus b a whole transpose a b minus b a whole transpose equal to minus of a b minus b a what it tells it tells that therefore a b minus b a is skew symmetric matrix a b minus b a is a skew symmetric matrix i hope you understand see here a b minus b which option is the right option first option is the right option now last question in this exercise okay what is this question <clears throat> uh, what they given they given matrix a and they given a plus a transpose equal to i uh, if the value of alpha is they are asking us to find the value of alpha okay first thing they given matrix a right i'll write that matrix this is matrix a from this matrix we can write its transpose how to write the transpose of this matrix you take the first row you take the first row write it as a first column yes cos alpha minus sin alpha now you take the second row write it as a second column sin alpha cos alpha now in here they given that a plus a dash equal to i a plus a dash equal to i i'll write here a plus a dash equal to i what is a what is a cos alpha minus sin alpha sin alpha cos alpha plus a dash what is a dash a dash is this one right write that cos alpha sin alpha minus sin alpha cos alpha okay equal to what equal to what equal to identity matrix of order 2 right identity matrix right the identity matrix of order 2 1 0 0 1 okay now you just uh, add the corresponding elements cos alpha plus cos alpha cos alpha plus cos alpha is what 2 cos alpha uh, look here minus sin alpha plus sin alpha is 0 next sin alpha plus of minus sin alpha plus sin alpha minus sin alpha will get cancelled cos alpha plus cos alpha that is 2 cos alpha equal to 1 0 0 1 you can observe here uh, here also 2 cos alpha here also 2 cos alpha so these two matrices are equal if these two matrices are equal we can equate the corresponding elements right 2 cos alpha equal to 1 what is cos alpha from this cos alpha equal to 1 by 2 trigonometry you learn trigonometry table from in 10th standard as well as in first pc what is alpha 60 degrees 60 degrees means pi by 3 pi by 3 option is there in this yes pi by 3 option is there so with this we completed third exercise problems in uh, matrices chapter i hope you understand all these problems